on a clean, brightly lit workspace, carefully remove the glass digitizer screen from the metal backing. There are three connectors that need to be disconnected before proceeding. First, remove the digitizer ribbon Next, disconnect the light sensor ribbon. And then, remove the LCD connection. Go slow and take your time. Next, remove the power volume vibration assembly. The headphone jack ribbon can be next. The charging port can be re removed next. A few screws hold it in place. On the underside of the charging port, there is a plastic shield that protects the Wi-Fi connection. Go ahead and pry that off. And then the Wi-Fi connection, there are actually two wires. You'll want to disconnect each of those. At this point, there should be one remaining screw holding the logic board in place. Go ahead and remove that one screw. Next, the speaker assembly cable can be removed from the logic board. At this point, the entire speaker system can be removed. There are actually two batteries inside of the iPad and they sit inside a black protective shell. This shell and battery uh, batteries are actually glued down to the back side of the silver back plate. Go ahead and pry those up gently. There's the two batteries. In order to remove the headphone jack, simply remove one screw holding it in place. Remove the LCD screws that surround the perimeter of the LCD. The home button is being removed next. The technician is then gently prying the LCD up off of the digitizer screen. There is a bit of adhesive around the edges of this screen 
holding it in place. And there you go, a completely disassembled iPad. Now let's go ahead and put this back together, sped up. 